Well, it's just gone midsummer and the weather's turned really nice again. And it's the perfect time of year to be out in the meadows. The, all the flowers are out, absolutely fabulous. The yellow rattle's going over, but a lot of the other flowers are still out. Lots of cats here around us here. And this is also the favorite time for, for me to visit the meadows, to look for all the insects, all the bugs and mini beasts. And I can hear a lot of them around me now. This cat's here is brilliant plant for bees particularly. They love the pollen and there's a tiny bee here and if you can just quite see that there. This is a little furrow bee. Uh, it's about 280 types of bee in Britain and most of them are very small. So there's obviously you know, 25 odd bumblebees which you tend to see, the honey bee. All the rest of them are solitary bees and a lot of them are tiny and quite unobtrusive little creatures. So this one just buzzing around. It's going from flower head to flower head. I can follow it, it's gone over here now. And uh, it's a tiny little bee and it's collecting pollen on its hind legs. You see it has a great big mass of pollen. And this is a mining bee, so it'll have a, a little nest somewhere in the ground here. Uh, the female will go back there. And in this species it's actually sort of semi-social. So the, the females will live together in a small group and they will raise young together. So it's a, sort of an early stage of socialization in, in bees. One of the dominant plants in this part of the meadow is hemlock water dropwort. It is actually quite a poisonous plant, but only if you eat it. Um, again, it uh, provides a lot of flowers, a lot of nectar and pollen for all sorts of insects. And one in particular, which was only really discovered last year. Uh, it's a little mining bee, and it's now been called the hemlock water dropwort mining bee. Uh, it's just been split from another species. And this one is known from around Dartmoor. And uh, it's only a tiny little thing, little black and white uh, bee and uh, it only collects the pollen for its nest from hemlock water dropwort. So I expect they are around here. They only fly for a couple of weeks towards the end of June. So I expect they're in the meadows around Dartmoor. It's just no one's seen it for quite a few years now. An absolute mass of, this is another one of those hawkweeds here. I think it's hawk's beard, this plant. They are, as I said, they're pretty difficult to identify, but they're amazingly good for insects and particularly bees. So we've got various bumblebees buzzing around here. There's a red-tailed bumblebee there. And again, a lot of these little solitary bees. I've just seen some furrow bees uh, nectaring on here and collecting pollen. And also uh, a mining bee. as a male, uh, Andrina dorsata, a little mining bee. Uh, males whizzing around the flowers along the edge here uh, looking for females. And that's the second brood. So some of these solitary bees will fly in the spring for a few weeks and then they'll emerge again at this time of year, so the late June, July. Other species will just have one brood in a year, so they maybe fly in the spring. The certain ones which just like willow trees and they'll go on those, so they'll just fly for a few weeks in March, April time when the willow's out. And then the rest of the year they spend as a larva or a pupa buried underground somewhere.